How grateful we are for the Prophet Joseph Smith, who sought for the truth, who found it, and who under the direction of the Lord restored the gospel and organized the church. When I read the Book of Mormon, and I got serious about this, and I got to the Book of Abraham, and that's when I realized it was all a fraud. There's probably a lot of Christians out there who don't know the difference between Mormonism and Christianity. No matter how good a Christian you are, Billy Graham and their system will not have eternal life unless he accepts their temple rituals. And that's what the Mormon is after. They really believe they're doing what is true, yet they are utterly, completely deceived. I mean, it says in, in Corinthians that Satan will come across as an angel of light. I will make myself like the Most High. And that, at the end of the day, ends up being the goal of Mormonism, is to become your own God. And so it's, this is a religion not about God, it's about you. And that is the problem with Mormonism. It is me-focused, not Christ-focused. They believe that Lucifer was Jesus' brother and crazy stuff like that. They are culturally entrenched in a worldview that has got them they're married to it, they're birthed into it, they've got in-laws in it, they're employed by it. This is everything they are. You're not asking them to discard their political affiliation, you're asking them to leave their lives. Utah has the highest level of clinical depression in the country and the highest rate of prescribed antidepressants in the country. The suicide rate is higher than 85% in the country. There's uh, more plastic surgeons per capita in Salt Lake City than any other major city because image is everything. There's a ton of pressure and um, people will get up in front of church every, every, every week and say, and we're living the perfect life, everything's great, we believe it and we're doing well and inside they're just being crushed by their religion that tells them that they have to live up and they, and they can't. If you were to die right now, do you think that you have done enough to reach exaltation? I don't know whether I'd reach exaltation or not because we're imperfect. I try my best to, you know, repent of my mistakes that I make every day just trying to give service to people that want to learn. We also do a lot of charity work. Move furniture around for the Mission Thrift Store. There's a guy in our ward that's had a stroke, so we take him out for a walk every Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we painted somebody's house. The Mormon view of salvation is you have faith plus works equals salvation, right? I've always been taught from my Christian faith is faith equals salvation plus works. It just broke my heart to realize how much pressure that these women are under. I'm so, I'm so thankful that we have a God who gives us grace and who gives us mercy and I just so badly wanted her to see that in that short time that we had together. Uh, joining us right now is perhaps the best young apologist in the whole country. His name is Sean McDowell. He teaches down in Orange County at Capistrano Valley Schools. He takes students up to Utah and they go on the campus of BYU and engage on the issue of Mormonism and the existence of God and all that kind of thing. You can get stretched a little bit in the classroom, but when you go out and you actually engage, quote, on enemy turf on these issues, uh, but you grow a ton. We got 23 students. We're gonna go to Salt Lake City, actually be missionaries for Christ and go talk to some Mormons. learn a lot about other people and how they think, and we also get to challenge people in their own faith. It's a challenge for me to really like get deeper into my faith and understand why I believe what I believe and not just believing it because I've been going to Sunday school since I was five. We say that it's works as well, so it's the yeah. things that you do here on this earth. In that test, we prove our worthiness to go to heaven, I guess it would be. In the Bible and what we've learned as Christians is that God tells us that we're saved by grace. It's not just about what you know. 
It's also about representing Christ because we're going out there claiming to be Christians, claiming to be people who follow Christ passionately, and we need to be able to show people by our actions that we are. If I thought that there was truth out there that was not what I believe, I would want someone to show it to me, you know? That's what we're here to do. We're here to be observers, seekers, and finders of truth.